purple dead nettle, the allergy relieving, wound healing, immune boosting wonder. Hello fellow herb lovers. Today we're talking about purple dead nettle, probably an herbal you already know because it grows everywhere, but it does so many things. It's known for being anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and antifungal, along with other benefits. Purple dead nettles are naturally full of vitamins A and C, as well as being a good source of iron. Stick with us for the very long list of ailments purple dead nettle can help with, and how to use it. If you're interested in natural remedies and enriching your knowledge about medicinal herbs, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more herb goodness. All right, let's get started. Purple dead nettle, scientifically known as Lamium purpureum, is part of the mint family. This plant has beautiful purple flowers and fuzzy leaves. It isn't deadly, despite what its name might suggest. It also has no deadly lookalikes, which makes it great to forage. Native to Europe and Asia, it's now found all over the world, usually in yards, gardens, and disturbed soils. Purple dead nettle offers a range of health benefits. Number one, allergy relief. This plant is known for helping to reduce symptoms of seasonal allergies, thanks to its anti-inflammatory properties. Number two, wound healing. When used topically, purple dead nettle can speed up the healing process for wounds and cuts. Number three, women's health. It has been traditionally used to manage women's health issues like excessive menstrual bleeding. Number four, digestive health. Purple dead nettle is believed to help with upset stomachs and support digestion. Number five, immune support. Packed with vitamins, especially vitamin C, it can give your immune system a nice boost. Purple dead nettle can be utilized in several ways. Number one, a soothing tea can be made by steeping the leaves in hot water, helpful for allergy relief and digestive health. Number two, Applying a salve made from the plant can quicken wound healing and soothe skin irritations. Number three, the young leaves can be eaten raw or cooked, adding a nutritious kick to salads, soups, or stews. Purple dead nettle has a rich historical background, being used in traditional medicine for centuries. The renowned Greek physician, pharmacologist, and botanist Dioscorides mentioned purple dead nettle in his work written in the first century AD. In this influential herbal encyclopedia, Dioscorides described the plant's use in treating respiratory issues, such as coughs and bronchitis, as well as its application in soothing inflammations and skin conditions. After its introduction to North America, Native American tribes also incorporated purple dead nettle into their traditional medicinal practices. Some tribes, such as the Cherokee, are known to have used the plant and it was believed to possess diuretic properties and was used to make infusions or teas to treat urinary problems and help cleanse the body. Additionally, the plant's leaves were sometimes applied externally to soothe skin irritations and minor wounds. While there are very few scientific studies on purple dead nettle, more research is needed to fully understand all of its potential benefits. Here are some fun facts about purple dead nettle. Number one, it's an adaptable plant, growing well in various soil conditions, though it prefers moist, fertile soil. Number two, purple dead nettle is typically foraged in the early spring when its purple flowers are in full bloom. Number three, while generally safe, it can cause allergic reactions in some people, so it's recommended to consult with a healthcare professional before use. 